looking forward to talking about this horse. I'm going straight to Tom. Uh, Lach to La Las Tochka. Sorry, sure. it's, a, it's a bit of a tongue twister. Did you listen to Mick Price on Racing.com uh, after the barrier draw yesterday? I loved his comments about the horse. No, what did he say? He was saying uh, that uh, the horse is thriving at, at Werribee and, and, and very fit, uh, looks great, um, and looking forward to obviously having her truck along and, and she's going really, really well. And I think he's just brutally honest. I like the way he, uh, he goes about it. I like what he said about Vauban, or Vauban as well. We're going to comment on that later. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like this mare. I think the locals are no good here. Oh, I think the Mooney Valley, the fact that they ran so well in the Mooney Valley Cup, there wasn't much between them, and that's a form reference for a Melbourne Cup. Oh, I think this mare can run really, really well. I think she's value. I just wish she drew better. She's got a huge upside. Obviously, Cole just said the stable of confident. I've got her right in the mix, and uh, I think she's, she's in my top four. Can I just say that um, I think Mick Price was very keen on the horse uh, being on speed. Um, how did you see uh, the horse in, in your speed map? Yeah, well, she's... Obviously, from that wide barrier, it's going to have to um, truck forward as quickly as possible. So um, I, I could see the horse getting, uh, you know, on, on speed at least, or even potentially leading. I think she set her fourth at Longchamp last start, had a nice run there. So it wouldn't surprise me. She probably does up to, to this trip, 3,200 metres. We'll see it out based on that performance. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they inject, inject her into the race. Mm. What's the international form like? It's, it's actually quite good, her, her form over in, uh, in France. Uh, she's... The type of filly who has looked progressive, she won a race called the, the Pre-Gladiates Her last time out, which is a race that uh, has been won by some of their top horses that have travelled in the past, horses like uh, Kasbah Bliss and, and Westerner. Um, we saw we saw Varave win that race and come out in 2008. She ran 14th of viewed. Um, but I think I think uh, Lestochka is a better horse. Um, that form around Sim Camille earlier in the season, very good. Um, Sim Camille didn't do much in the, in the arc, but he's the type of horse who's uh, sort of a benchmark French, uh, French horse. Uh, the one thing Mick Price has said, there's nothing of her. She's, she's tiny. She'd be probably 400 kilos max. Um, but a lot of those French fillies are. Um, uh, I did mention in the preview that the, the lightest horse ever to win in Hong Kong was a Hong Kong Vars winner in 2003 called Valley Enchante. Uh, she was 813 pounds, which is under 400 kilos. Um, but she was a pocket rocket, and Lestochka is similar. So I, I think she's got to be a chance. It's just how do you measure up that form? I found it that difficult, and look, I've watched her all year long. Um, so it, it is going to be a tough one to, to assess where she is, but there's no doubt she's a contender. With a small mare, she's been racing in fields of six, seven, eight. She suddenly races 24 horses. Is that, do you reckon, I'll ask you, Shane, does that pull horses off? Is it is it um, new to them? Her debut run was a field of four, 15, but it was over shorter, so... Yeah, I mean, there's, if they've got to go forward from the gate, uh, there's going to be some jostling, isn't yeah, there? Absolutely. Particularly trying to get their position coming to the winning post the first time. Um, it's going to take a good ride. She's a, like She ticks a lot of boxes, though, down low weight, mm. gets on speed. Um, clearly, the connections are able to identify the right European horses to yep. bring out to win this race. Um, there's enough there to say that if you like her, you can, you know, you, you can back her, and I thought she's a good top 10 chance. Um, it'll just depend on what happens in that run to the winning post the first time. Do you having a betting strategy on it? Yeah, I'm having so I don't want to lose if she wins the race. So I just, I'm penning. I think this Melbourne Cup's got a long tail to it. Yep. Um, I think there's a lot of locals that have been running around in provincial cups that are, aren't much good. Um, she doesn't need to be that good to finish top five. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.